Dancing in September, that's our topic for today's Backstage Pass. Well, good morning, happy Thursday, happy first day of September. Hope you're having a great day so far. Stocks and bonds are lower today. Mortgage rates are gonna be higher today as they open. We'll talk more about that in just a minute, but first let's get to the data of the day. Uh, jobless claims is the first data point that we had that came out this morning. Jobless claims for last week came in at 232,000. It was much lower than what was expected. It was expected to come in at 248,000. Continuing claims rose by about 26,000. And this, uh, the jobless data continues to kind of argue against what the Fed is looking for, which is a little bit of a slack in the labor market. Labor market continues to stay pretty tight. Other data that came out today is the ISM PMI data. This is called a Purchasing Managers Index. It's a measure of economic activity in the manufacturing sector. And the reason why we're looking at it is because it's an indicator of how well the efforts that the Fed is doing to combat inflation. It's an indicator of how well that's working. And uh, this, this data came in hotter than what was expected. It was expected to come in at 52.0. The headline reading came in at 52.8. And so a little bit hotter than what was expected. And in the, what that means for the bond market and the treasury market, well, they reacted in a way that we would call adverse. Mortgage bonds are down 37 basis points at the time of recording. The 10-year yield is up 14 basis points. It's trading at 3.26%, which is over the 3.24% ceiling that we were hoping it was going to stick to. I'm going to show you some charts here in just a second. And it still is kind of sticking to right at that 3.25, 3.26%. Um, range and so what that means for mortgage rates is that mortgage rates again they're gonna open up higher yesterday the national average for the 30-year fixed came in at around 5.99 percent today we're expecting that to be somewhere between 6.1 percent and 6.2 percent so uh, as that 10-year yield is moving up uh, mortgage rates are moving up as well now our topic today is dancing in September and I'm going to put up some graphs and I want to show you some some graphs for the past few months of what's been going on as far as trading in the bond market in the summertime. So the first one we're looking at is the 30 year four and a half percent coupon mortgage backed security, the MBS. This is typically what we refer to as the mortgage bond. And this is the one that we're looking at. And you can see on the chart, there's a, a, a support, a floor of support that it hits in June and then there's a ceiling that it hits right at the beginning of August and there's this huge broad sideways trading range that the that the MBS has been trading in we call that sometimes the summertime trading range or the you know summertime trading um, and it's just this broad range if we flip over and we look at the 10-year yield you can see that it's inverse the uh, the ceiling it hits is back in June and then the floor it hits is in the beginning of August it's inverse because it's actually the yield that we're looking at and not the price and again, you know, we can see that uh, since August, that that uh, ten-year yield has been kind of slowly dancing back up. And as the ten-year yield continues to dance up, well, so will mortgage rates. And now that we're all the way into this metaphor, we're gonna we're gonna keep going with this metaphor. We are hoping and looking for these tiny dancers, the MBS and the ten-year yield, to change partners. And that change of partner, well, that could be the BLS jobs report that's coming out tomorrow. This is going to be a very closely watched report because again like the initial jobless claims the data is kind of counter to what the fed is looking for so if this jobs report comes in as expected or higher than what's expected uh, for new job creations well we could see that that uh the 10-year yield continue to dance up um, and possibly even hit that uh, ceiling that it saw back in june around 3.4 um, if the jobless or uh, the, the the bls jobs report comes in lower than what's expected well, it could be the, the new partner that both of these tiny dancers need in order to start coming back down. We'll know and we'll see that tomorrow. So as that data comes tomorrow, we'll let you know. And as the data continues to be absorbed from today's um, data in the market, we'll let you know if there are any changes. And look, you know, a lot of these things, these things are out of our control, right? We can't control the jobs market. We can't control the MBS or the 10-year yield. But there are things that we can control, effort, attitude, mindset. So this is just a reminder to stay positive, control what you can control. Listen, I hope you have a great day. That's all the news we have for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.